guess what today's video is? If you can see the packaging, I'm going to do my Biobet haul that I did recently. Um, there's also the other bits, I did two. <clears throat> um, and that one came quite a while ago, but I didn't think it warranted its own video. And the cats are in here to help me. So we'll get started, I'll take off this package. So here's the open box. I got quite a lot, as you can probably tell. Uh, I've also got the invoice, so I can tell you the prices of things. <laughs> Jinx, go away. Um, all my cats are in here. I'm actually on my bed in my bedroom. Um, and we've got this fleece down now on the bed because when the cats are in here, I don't really want them getting cat hair all over the bed. Go on. So I'll start with the small haul. <laughs> what, Mumbo? I'll start with the small haul because, oh, gee, Harley. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have to kick the cats out because there is catnip in here, so I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that, I had to get them out because I'd forgotten there was cat toys in here. But it's okay. Um, so I'll start with the order I did last time. I got him the new Syrian, whose name is Tyrion. I got him just one of the chew shoes, the small ones. Uh, a Naturals Carrot Cottage in small, uh, it's just topped, it's meadow hair, parchment board and carrot on the top basically. And I also just got him some bendy wooden sticks. Uh, it was just a really small order, I think it cost me £7 altogether and the most expensive thing was the cottage. Sorry if I sound a bit bunged up, I'm getting a cold I think. Which is sad. So first off, I got the um, guinea pigs a food bowl because it looked like a good idea. They don't have anything like that in their cage, so I got them one of them. <clears throat> and if I can find it, it was actually really cheap. Where is it? Hanging food bowl. It was £1.43, which I thought was really good. So I picked up one of them for him, and they're both hymns, for Bilbo and um, Thorin. Uh, I then got a salad bowl, which I thought looked really interesting. Um, what is it for? Rabbits, guinea pigs and chinchillas. So this is for the guinea pigs. Uh, the ball is even 100% natural and biodegradable. So it is from palm leaf, leaf and it's filled with six different herbs, vegetables and edible flowers. Uh, carrot, ribwort, dandelions, marigolds, peppermint and rose blos blossoms. So I thought that looked good for the guinea pigs. I've got something similar for uh, the hamsters. I then got the veggie mobile for rabbits, guinea pigs, and other rodents. I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to, but it's just a loofah with some um, what are they called? The play veg that are from Sicily, usually. I forgot to tell you how much the salad bowl was. And this, whoops, the veg vegetable mobile was £2.47, and the um. Where is it? Oh dear. Oh. £1.58. Sorry about that. I'm not getting them out in order, so. Oh dear. Um, the next thing I got was one of these tough tubes, which I think you've all seen, but I couldn't believe how cheap. It was. I've got the orange one, I think. Or is it red? I'm not sure. But I couldn't believe how che cheap it was. I mean, they sell these for a lot, most places, and it was only £1.53, which is good. It'll be good for bath time for the hamsters, because I put them in the bath um, to play. You know, I don't have a, a play pen with me. Obviously, without any water in it. Um, that'd be stupid. But, so I got one of them because it was cheap as anything. 
I then got, I've never ever had these, but I see them all the time in people's videos. Um, so I got the Good Bite Tiny and Natural Cheese Chews. Um, they're Italian, but it's a bit. But I've never had these, so I just thought I'll get a pack. But they were quite expensive, to be honest, I thought. Uh, where are they? They were something like £3.20. And I can't find them. I'm terrible at this. Oh, there. £3.24. But as far as I understand, they last a long time. So we'll see what my hamsters think of those. Um, I've got this. Which one's this? It's a pair. This is just one of those wooden chews. Um, is it the nibble sticks fruit nose? I'm not sure, but if it was, it was a £1.04. Um, I don't know. I just thought it would be a nice thing for them to have. So I picked one up. Ooh. I also got some of these, which are dog treats, but they're corn, I think, or like cornstarch or something. So I've seen a lot of people on um, hamster websites and things using them for their hamsters. So I just got four of those. And apparently they last for a long time. Oh. And they were, that was £1.93 for four, but I think they were something like... I'm not sure. You can probably work that out. They're not very expensive. Per. You, you buy them per two. So I bought four. <clears throat> and it was £2. pound one pound ninety three. So that must be less than 50 feet each. Sorry if you can hear that outside. <laughs> And then got the cats, this catnip creation with a bell, uh, and it's got catnip in it, obviously. But that's, I think that's what they were after in the in the thing, and that was only eight seven p. And they've not had new toys for a little while, so I also got a box of chinchilla bathing sand because Chen and P need sand baths. And I didn't have any left. And that was four pounds. Four pounds something. I thought it was anyway. Four pounds six. So uh, I got another one of these because they're always handy to have. Um, I got one of these which I think are so cute. I'm going to give it to Chen. It's just the rainbow bridge. Uh, rainbow play bridge, but I think it's so cute. And I've seen it in a couple of videos and I wanted it. So I took this opportunity to get one and that was... I'm really bad at this, I shouldn't. £3.68, which isn't terrible because it is really cute. Or I think it is anyway. And I got another cat toy. Um, I don't know what that is. It's a fish, isn't it? I think this also has catnip in it. Hessian sea life, it's called. And that was probably the same price, or close to the price of the other one. Oh, we're nearly done. I'll finish this with this then. This is a small cat toy as well. What does it say? Yow. It's got catnip in it. They're called Stinkies. Catnip filled sardine toy. So they'll have fun with that and drive me insane probably. Um, I got one of these play and climb kits which I'll show you at the end which one I got actually. When I've built it. But that's... That wasn't to it. Oh sorry. That wasn't too expensive, £1.80, which is fine. I mean, I was lacking hamster toys. They pretty much only had what they had in their cages, which is not a good idea because I like to switch them up, otherwise they get bored. Uh, I got two of these corn rattle rollers, which I think I'm going to give to 
was one pound sixty five the guinea pigs. <clears throat> I think they they can all have them. It just says for for small animals, so the guinea pigs will have one of them. And the last thing I bought was one of these, which is <clears throat> what is it? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Treat basket for small animals, and that was two pound ninety four. And you get loads in it, like corn and stuff and little treats. Uh, Naturals will or treat basket. Let's see what you get. In. Oh, it doesn't say. It just kind of says what could be in it. But I'm happy with this because they can also eat the basket or play in it or whatever. So yeah, that is what I ordered, and I spent around forty pounds altogether from both hauls. Um, and now I have some um, more toys that they can have, which is great. Because, like I said, I'm lacking quite a few. So I'll put the uh, I'll put the play and climb kit together, and then I'll show you which design I got. I got this one, which is cool. I mean, they're all quite good, I think. I got that one. I'm sorry, my camera will not focus. That one. There's actually a dot on it, and I should have seen that to say that that's the one I got. Oh well. Um. So there it is. Today's clean out day, so I'm cleaning everything out, everyone out. Um. So I'll do a video once I've done it, and they've got their new toys and things in. I've also finished the plastic art on. Tyrion's house and ramp and shelf so I'll show you that because I think it looks quite good and it's waterproof so it serves a purpose pull some off, never mind um, so yeah I'll probably put this video up today and one of the new cage layouts and kind of a cage tour for everybody tomorrow um, so I best get going because I've got three ants cages, guinea pig cage, snake cage and the snail cage to clean out. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you probably tomorrow.